Another big story we're following tonight. An 11 year old girl is dead and others injured after a couple's fight leads to a truck crashing into another car in the West Valley. Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Mark Curtis and I'm Kariba Devine. This happened yesterday evening near El Mirage Road in Olive Avenue. That is where we find Team 12's Colleen Secor this evening as we are learning more about those injured and the little girl who died. Colleen. Yeah, we're told three sisters and employee at Life Springs Church were working yesterday to get ready for vacation Bible school when they were hit in their car here on El Mirage Road, leading to 11 year old Ariana Gannon losing her life. Small pieces showing something happened here and someone taken. Absolutely devastating. El Mirage police say Adrian Ballesteros was arguing with his girlfriend when he grabbed the steering wheel from her, causing the truck she was driving to slam into a car. Inside that car, Maria, Maggie Suggs, and three sisters. When we got the news, I it just couldn't quite even grasp the tragedy. Pastor Barry Savington at Life Spring Church says Maggie is their director of children's ministry. The sisters are daughters of a former pastor there, the youngest of the three, 11-year-old Ariana Gannon. Ariana uh, was one of the sweetest young girls, 11-year-old girls you'd ever meet. She was so kind, so gentle. The community and the family now left without Ariana. To have them have to walk this out is just so overwhelming. Police say the other two teens are stable. Maggie, family tells 12 News, is still in the hospital and will need surgery. Ballesteros is now facing manslaughter and endangerment charges. Pastor Barry believes it's faith the Gannon family will lean into now. They're all going to carry this knowing that God is the one that will get them through. Now, if you'd like to help the families out with funeral or medical expenses, there's a few ways that you can do that. And we have those linked right now in this story in the 12 News app. And also tonight at 730, Life Springs Church here in El Mirage is going to be holding a prayer vigil. And that once again begins at 730. We're live in El Mirage, Colleen Sikora, 12 News.